Sure. Sure. Um, obviously, first want to um, kind of tip our hat to Penn State, um, a team that we have a lot of respect for. Certainly a group that has been through a lot since um, last summer. And I think that team has played incredibly hard and, and just done a great job managing a tough situation. So uh, we, we, our hearts go out to those kids and what they've experienced this year and, and how they've been able to persevere says a lot about them. Um, obviously, um, we're excited to get a win over a team that's a really good team um, and have a chance to play for the Big Ten Tournament Championship. Um, uh, you know, obviously a great start for us. Um, disappointed how, after being up 6 nothing, how uh, we, we reacted to a certain situation. Um, but to credit to our guys, um, it was kind of a game of runs. Uh, getting up six nothing, and then all of a sudden, every time someone scored, it was two, three, or four in a row. So, um, our guys to be able to weather the storm um, was big for us. Unfortunately, we got to go back to work with some of our ground ball play and faceoffs. But um, when we needed it, Kyle again delivered some big saves. Um, and offensively, uh, I thought the guys played very unselfishly. Uh, Might have been Con one of Connor Kelly's best games, but. Uh, that there were some great efforts from you know Lucas Gradinger and Pat Young and Tyler Brook um, that really helped us. So it was a really a team effort. Um, so we're we're obviously honored to to get the next game, but um, looking forward to just being here on Saturday and having a chance to win a championship. Questions? You mentioned a start. Obviously, you guys haven't had quite a start like that in a while. But when you have the first two times the second midfield's on the field, you get goals both times. How, well, how are you feeling about? Yeah, we, we really, you know, it's funny, we, we, we were disappointed with our tempo on Saturday. We just felt like it took us so long to get into our sets um, and get in our progressions. And, and it's no secret, we'll come down, and a lot of times we're pressing early offense. You'll see Matt and Colin working together, and then sometimes we'll keep some of our defensive players on, and they'll kind of work some early offense as well. And then typically from there, we'll start getting more midfielders on. We were just so slow with our progression that I really felt like it impacted everything that we did. We just played slow. We didn't get into sets. We got put in spots where we had timer on. So we really put an emphasis on just playing faster, but playing faster everywhere because Penn State plays so fast offensively that we knew defensively we'd have to really slide and recover and move and move our feet. So. Uh, we candidly did not have the greatest warm up. Uh, we were concerned, and I thought the kids really responded well. What about that warm up? Didn't go well. Uh, I just didn't think we, we we were just some of our fun, fundamentals. We weren't we weren't tightened up. Uh, I just felt like we were you know shooting the ball. And we weren't shooting with a purpose. Uh, we were kind of sloppy with our stick work. Uh, when we were going to shoot, we were fading behind. Um, we were making some just some poor choices, like when we were doing unsettled drills. Uh, we weren't clean on the offensive end. Uh, defensively, we were fine, but uh, offensively, we just were sloppy. And you know, when we brought them in before the game, we're like, "Listen, we just this is a really important game, and if we're not tightened up, we're going to be in trouble." And I thought the guys really did a great job with that. Obviously, um, the older players, you know, kind of sensed that um, and got everybody dialed in, and, and obviously they executed at a pretty high level. Yeah, we, you know, we're, with us, we kind of ride the hot hand, um, and sometimes it's a matchup thing. Um, you know, we we were prepared for a couple different guys. Um, you know, Lombardi's done a great job for them. Um, really, in the last four or five games, we've seen a little bit of number two, um, and I thought he was fantastic tonight. He did a really good job for him, and so at that point, it was more of a kind of a matchup thing. Uh, I do think uh, they did a nice job with their wings, kind of tweaking what they were doing. And then at halftime, Coach Mattis did a really good job of adjusting uh, what we were doing, and I thought that helped. And in the second half, Bryce Young and Wes Janik really gave us some just just some energy off the wing. Dan Seglio and Isaiah are always really good, but I thought those two guys really helped us, and, and we got some possessions back and, and kind of were able to kind of flip the possession because it seemed like for a long time there in the second quarter, they had the ball a lot and uh, felt like our defense was starting to get a little fatigued. Kyle, can you just talk about what's the defensive game plan against Penn State? I mean, looking at the last game, um, I think that uh, you know, we had to change some things up, kind of uh, 
reevaluate ourselves based on you know the way they can score in bunches. Um, I think at one point in the game it was I think 10-3, and then the next thing you know it was 10-7. So um, I think above all we were just kind of focusing on stopping those breaks, the runs. Um, they were still able to get them, but you know at the end of the day just worry about us and play our game. So Connor and Coach Connor, it seemed like it was scrums for their loose balls today, ground ball that they could pick it up. It was that just their intensity, yours, or just a combination or sloppy play? I don't know. Uh, well, I think the biggest thing, there's two like historic programs. We're both tough teams, and we both focus on just getting, we're gritty teams, getting down for ground balls. I think that's both things we key on. So that's like the biggest part of the game between us and playing in the Big Ten tournament. That's huge. What happened to that goal in front of the, your goal in front of the goal? It looked like, no, I didn't see the shot, but it looked like a, met, you know, a jumble there. Right. Uh, I think I just, uh, Brian Cole made a great feed in front, and I think just, just a bunch of people in there, everybody's bodies are flying. So it's a physical game. You just got to be ready for it. And Coach, you said you were concerned about the ground balls? Yeah, and they're, they're a good team off the ground for sure. Um, and we just didn't do a great job tonight. Um, there were a lot of loose ones where we just didn't use great technique or they just out-hustled us at times. So um, we have to be careful. Obviously, you know, we have one day to prepare for either of those opponents, but it definitely will be something we focus on and just talk about and hopefully do a better job of. We certainly have the capability. Our kids have done a good job all year. Um, they're prideful, so um, we just got to, you know, talk about a little bit and just kind of remind them of maybe some things we can do to, to help ourselves. Coach, in the, I guess it was after you guys went up 4 nothing. Penn State took a timeout, and I could see you in the huddle trying to calm everyone down and get everyone to listen. What were you saying to them while that moment was on? You know, a lot of times, candidly, when, you know, we go on a run or the other team goes on a run, we bring it in and we always ask the same question, what's the score? And especially early on, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. It's, and it kind of just a refresher of don't play the scoreboard, okay? Get out and play, play the next play. What happens, happens. If it's a good thing, that's great. Don't relax. And if it maybe they've put a, a little bit of run on us, okay, don't dwell on it. Make the next play and just reset. And I thought we came out with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion, and we just didn't want to kind of lose that edge. Um, and, and I thought our older players did a really good job. Henry West, Brian Cole were like, all right, guys, that's great, but – Let's make sure we're staying focused, staying focused, and don't lose that edge. Connor, what kind of lift does it provide when you guys get four goals, four assists from the second line? Uh, I think it's huge. Uh, we've been preaching all year that we like our both lines. That's why we call them uh, red and uh, gold. So, uh, yeah, we just focus on just uh, where you got great chemistry on both lines, and it's just huge. That's what you need going into the stretch of the year. Uh, coming in playoff time. You guys had such a balanced offensive performance. Was there anything extra special going on out there in the field that uh, I think the biggest thing we focused on all week was just urgency and just organization. Uh, coach was preaching all week that we just got to be organized. We got to talk to each other and just the game, let the game come to us because we got a bunch of talented guys. So you just got to play it out. John, um, can you talk about Matt? He had three goals to assist, but he also had the unsportsmanlike comment. What did you tell him? You know, uh, like any guy, I, I love Matt Rambo. I really do. And he is a, a guy that I love to work with every day. Um, you know, you kind of see, you know, kind of the best and worst right there. You know, and, and I think, you know, he just, he's a guy that he plays really hard. He's very passionate. He cares so much. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, we have to remind the guys, you know, you got to manage the game and don't let the game manage you. Um, and like any young guy, you know, he just, he's excited. Um, so, again, focusing on being more disciplined. Um, and, you know, I know he knows better. I thought it was a teachable moment, which is really important for us. Um, I know he'll learn from that. He'll grow from it. And, um, you know, he'll, he'll do a great job down the road. Because one of the reasons why we were doing well was because of Matt's effort. Um, so, uh, nobody's perfect. Um, and, again, I know he, he was disappointed in himself, so I didn't really have to say a whole lot. I actually had to remind him just to let it go because nothing was going to change. I was a little concerned that he was going to get, like, try to get it back. You know, like there were a couple plays where he was riding really hard to try to maybe make a couple plays to make up for it. And that's just trying to remind him that's not how it works. You just have to play the next play the right way. And that's, it, that play was gone and it's over with. And again, he made a lot of really good plays other than that. So 
more importantly, it's for our younger players and the other guys to realize, okay, that's not what we should be doing. And uh, again, hopefully that's something we, it didn't, it didn't hurt us significantly in terms of losing the game, but it could have. So again, we'll go back and we'll talk about it tomorrow. We're not going to dwell on it. Um, but again, it could down the road because we're in a position now where, you know, pretty much every game now it's one and done, whether it's for a conference tournament or the NCAA tournament. How after last year's disappointment at College Park in the Big Ten Championship, how important is this game Saturday, you know, as a senior in the big, to get that Big Ten title? I mean, just beyond last year, we've been preaching, you know, this is my fifth year here, and up until this point we had never even won a conference tournament game. So um, it's just huge getting this one. And um, the next one is uh, it's, it's a huge goal of ours. You know, the NCAA goal, this tournament goal, and the regular season goal. So. This is the second one we got to notch off, and uh, whoever we play, you know, we got to be ready. Coach, how big is one? Uh, how challenging is it kind of the balance to give the guys some rest tomorrow? But you got to quick turn around, you got to work on some things. Yeah, we um, we won't go full speed on anything. Uh, we'll walk through everything. I mean, Hopkins we played last week, and and. Rutgers was, you know, basically two, three weeks ago. So uh, we'll have some familiarity. Um, I, we just, it would not, at least in my opinion, be smart to go full speed. I think right now it's getting them as much rest as possible. We talked to the guys about icing and hydrating um, and getting some nutrition in their body immediately and getting off their feet and getting some sleep tonight. Um, to me, that's, that's the most important thing with a quick turnaround. Uh, we tried to be, um, you know, really like prudent with what we did the last three days, knowing that if we were going to be successful, we needed to not wear them down and really in the last three, four days. So, um, you know, for them right now, I think they're a pretty mature group and they understand getting the rest is critical. We'll, we'll be able to walk through some things and talk through some things. That's maybe the difference between this year's team and some of the other teams we've had. Um, I think these guys retain a lot. Um, we can walk through things, and I think they can get some of the most important keys. And a lot of times when we get in trouble, you know, whether it's the offensive end, those guys can talk it through. Or you know, the defensive guys, you know, Matt Dunn and, and Timmy and Mac and those guys can kind of work their way out of trouble just because they've been around and they have a good feel for each other. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody.